I'm Maria Lax, I'm a Finnish photographer based in London. I got into photography sort of by accident, worked various jobs and ended up in film school because I wanted to do something creative. And that was when I had a stills camera or a camera for that matter in my hand for the first time. And I discovered that that's something that I could be good at. I've always sort of been drawn to darkness and nighttime. And I think a lot of it is influenced by being from Northern Finland where there's a limited amount of natural light during the winter. Winters are really dark and days are extremely short. So it's almost like the circumstance has made me focus more on the nighttime. But I also feel like shooting in the dark and at night lets your imagination roam free and, and it gives you sort of the freedom to reimagine your surroundings in a different way than daylight would. A lot of my references and my influences are painters. I love the work of Tuve Janssen, who's the creator of the movements and sort of made works that are very colorful and, and interesting and surreal. I entered the GFX Challenge grant program because I had this project that I've been working on and it's about nighttime, it's about landscape and nature and bright colours, but also using things like UV, which are quite hard to draw out in camera. And I know that the cameras are amazing and I've been a fan for a long time, so I thought having the format and the technology would really help me realise that project in a way that I wanted. The working title of my project is Night Rising. The project sort of was inspired by wanting to do something that places a lot more emphasis on nature. Obviously my work has always been about landscapes and about nature, but really just diving deeper into that theme, really leaning into the darkness and, and seeing what I can do with it, but also showing appreciation for nature and a really hidden aspect, which is the nighttime. And the project's very much about bright colors at night and revealing the secrets and the hidden aspects of the landscapes in, a, in an unusual and different kind of way that we're used to seeing. I've been testing the camera, I've been testing how far I can push it. For example, like how high can I put the ISO and you know, how long can I make the exposures and, and what colors can I use without the image completely falling apart. In the, in the way of the eye work that often happens and I sort of reach the limit. But this time I've been really happy with the results. I've been testing different colors, different wavelength UV lights, finding out what brings the best results and sort of uncovers the aspects that I want to uncover. So for this project I've been shooting with the 100S with primarily a zoom lens which is 45 to 100 and is f4. Primes often would give a better image but for me because I often travel by myself and I tend to travel light so everything ideally fits into one backpack. That's my camera kit, my tripod which is very important and then a variety of lights which are all very small and portable but very punchy and then I have a selection of filters and other accessories with me to manipulate the light or put in front of the lens. I think the GFX kit for me and the work I make is, I mean, it's amazing. It's much higher resolution than I've ever had. The color rendering is incredible. And yeah, being able to push the ISO higher than I've ever done. I think I've shot ISO say 10,000 and the image is perfectly clean and I, absolutely usable even on large format prints. I've never experienced that before. What I hope from this project is that it first reaches an audience, that hopefully people enjoy the images and, and through them start rethinking their relationship with nature and with darkness and with nighttime. I really feel like darkness is natural resources that we're losing at a really fast pace and I feel like we're really underappreciative of the natural world and how important night is for us. So I hope that through these images people really can tap into that relationship.